the Book of Heavy Metal. In the small town of Evershade, whispers circulated about a legendary tome known as the Book of Heavy Metal, said to contain the secrets of a long-forgotten metal band that could summon otherworldly powers. A group of young metal enthusiasts, led by a charismatic and mysterious figure named M, decided to seek out the book. M claimed to be a descendant of the band's enigmatic frontman and promised fame and fortune to those who helped him perform the March of the Metallians, a ritual detailed in the book's cryptic verses. Under M's guidance, the group retrieved the book from its resting place, hidden within the ruins of an old concert hall that had burned down years ago, taking the band with it. They navigated a labyrinth of decrepit backstage corridors, eventually finding the book beneath a slab of fallen masonry on the main stage. It was bound in tattered leather with iron clasps and seemed to hum with an unearthly energy. As they began the ritual, the air grew thick with a thunderous riff that seemed to come from nowhere, and the ground shook as if the very earth was a drum being played by an unseen force. As they reached the crescendo, the book's power was unleashed. Shadows twisted into monstrous shapes, and the echoes of a heavy metal ballad filled the night. But the group soon realized the true horror they had called forth. The music was not a gateway to fame, but a portal to a realm of darkness from which there was no return. The book had not brought the band back to life. It had bound their souls to an eternal encore. The endless concert raged on, its melody an anthem to the darkness that now enveloped Evershade. Each chord struck by the unwitting group resonated through the realms, a siren's call to the creatures that lurked within the shadows. The once hopeful metal enthusiasts, now pale and gaunt, played on as the vortex widened, its pull irresistible, its appetite insatiable. In the heart of the town, the citizens began to feel the unearthly chill, a prelude to the encroaching darkness. Lights flickered and dimmed, as if the very life force of Evershade was being drained by the ritual taking place at the ruins of the concert hall. The townsfolk, once skeptical of the legends, now locked their doors and whispered prayers, fearing that the end of days was upon them. Meanwhile, at the ruins, M stood at the center of the group, his eyes ablaze with a feverish glow. He alone seemed to thrive in the chaos, his voice rising above the din, urging the group to play louder, faster, as if trying to break through to some unseen destination. The spectral figures of the band members began to coalesce into more solid forms, their instruments materializing from the ether, joining in the cacophony. The air crackled with the electricity of unbridled spectral energy, and the sky roiled with ominous clouds that blotted out the stars. The book, now open on an ancient, wrought iron stand, seemed to be the conductor of this unholy orchestra, its pages fluttering wildly as though caught in a tempest. Each page turned was a descent further into madness, a step closer to a point of no return. The group's fingers bled, their instruments wept metallic tears, yet they could not stop. They were bound to the book's will, slaves to the rhythm of a song that sought to unravel the seams of reality. As the night wore on, a figure watched from the shadows, her presence unnoticed by the townsfolk and the group alike. She was the keeper, a guardian of the line between worlds, and she knew the peril that the Book of Heavy Metal posed. With a staff crowned by a single glowing orb, she stepped forward her cloak billowing in a wind that seemed to emanate from her very being. The keeper chanted in a language ancient and forgotten, her words a melody counter to the discord of the book. She moved with purpose, her staff drawing symbols in the air, 
crafting a barrier of light to contain the swelling darkness. The spectral band, now fully manifested, turned their hollow gazes upon her, recognizing the threat she posed to their eternal performance. With a voice that melded with the thunder, the Keeper invoked the Rite of Silencing, a powerful incantation that could close the rift. The ground beneath the concert hall began to tremble, the first sign of the world fighting to heal the tear in its fabric. But the book would not relinquish its grip so easily. It fought back with a fury, a maelstrom of notes and screams that sought to overpower the Keeper's chant. The Battle of Wills had begun, a symphony of light against darkness, as the fate of Evershade hung in the balance. Would the Keeper succeed in silencing the Eternal Encore, or would the Book of Heavy Metal write the final note in the town's demise? The crescendo built to its peak, awaiting the downbeat that would decide all. As the battle between light and darkness raged on, the very fabric of reality trembled under the strain. The Keeper's incantations grew stronger, the barrier of light pulsating with newfound intensity. But the Book of Heavy Metal fought back with a malevolent force, its pages tearing as if to release a torrent of dark energy. M and the group, caught in the middle of this cosmic struggle, felt the weight of their actions. Their once eager faces were now etched with fear and regret. They could see the torment in the eyes of the spectral band members, who were trapped in a never-ending performance from which they desperately sought release. The townsfolk, sensing the impending cataclysm gathered at the outskirts of Evershade, their faces pale in the eerie half-light of the Blood Moon. They watched in awe and terror as the battle in the ruins unfolded unaware that their very existence hung in the balance. With a final, thunderous crescendo, the Keeper's chant reached its zenith. The barrier of light, now a brilliant beacon, clashed with the dark forces emanating from the book. The clash of energies created a shockwave that rippled through the town, causing buildings to shudder and trees to sway as if in agony. And then, in a blinding burst of light, the rift closed. The music ceased, the spectral band members dissolved into mist, and the book of heavy metal fell silent. The town of Evershade was saved, but at a cost. The concert hall ruins lay in ruins once more, and M and the group were never seen again. The keeper, her task complete, retreated into the shadows her presence fading like a wisp of smoke. Evershade would forever bear the scars of that fateful night, a reminder of the darkness that lurked in the hearts of those who sought to harness the power of the Book of Heavy Metal. The legend of that night lived on in hushed whispers, a cautionary tale of the dangers of meddling with the unknown. And as the blood moon faded into obscurity, Evershade vowed never to let the Book of Heavy Metal secrets resurface, lest the town be plunged once more into the abyss of eternal darkness.